Hi everyone, it's Kaz my Classy channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. And I know this might be a bit random, but the five games, well, five or ten games I'm really looking forward to. Um, well, I only got nine. So I'll, I'll do my top five games that I'm really looking forward to seeing what will happen. So the first game is obviously Port Adelaide versus Richmond. Um, that is my fifth game, of course. The reason why I say that is because Port would want to bounce back and so does Richmond now. At some point, I expect Richmond to have a bit of a, a bad patch. And to really go out on top, like work their way up to be better. Um, you know, in injuries might hit Richmond and Port Adelaide. I think this is a, one of the games of the season that, that you always look forward to because Port Adelaide and Richmond, they never tear us apart, which is always so good. When I'm, well, what I hear is always so good to hear as well. Um, yeah, it's just amazing with that. It's just so special of that. Um, no, no, number four. No, 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 number four would be St Kilda and West Coast. Now, the reason why I say that, the, the Saints want to come out far in here, do they? And I know I picked West Coast, and I think about the 35 points, I think I did have that. Um, but I do see um, a team like St Kilda, Winning a game like this because it's backs against the wall. Paddy Ryder does play, and then who knows? Um, has had an impact somehow. And I just think as well, teams are really fighting hard for that particular spot. And I think because you see a lot of it as well, I think that you're going to have games whether or not both teams can really win so personal opinion I think this could be another you know the f second best game of the round hopefully um, but it will be interesting as well uh, number three I might try and do this every week I, I did you know, the, which I don't know why I, I didn't think of doing this, but like, why not? It's something fun to do. Gold Coast versus Carlton. Um, well, Gold Coast have got their injuries, um, but this is a game that a couple of times out of these two teams have always had like really classic tight games, and I think it's good. I, I think something's building up between Gold Coast and Carlton in the way that both teams want to go out there and, and and scrap hard for a win. I can't see Gold Coast winning, but in, in a way, I think I can see them winning. Yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, too many... Um, too many teams at the moment that are playing really good footy. To be honest with you, that you, you can actually see that what's going to happen as well on top of that. So we had Puerto Rico, Richmond, of course, St. Kilda, West Coast, and Gold Coast and Carlton. Number two, Melbourne versus Geelong. Now, these two teams have had really close performances. Um, in, in front of an empty crowd at the MCG, tight game. Geelong win that. Down in GHBA Stadium as well. Close game for that. 
draw winning. And obviously, like, at the MCG, or back, I think it was 2019 or, or 2018 as well, but they, they just continue to have, like, close games. And obviously, they played each other in the final. So, at the MCG, I think, you know, Geelong have got away with it a little bit more. Um, who knows, by the end of it, it could be an interesting game. Um, but as always, you always look for something like the positives and negatives. And I, I really th do strongly believe that that could be the case as well. So, realistically, I've got like four there, potentially. Um, Melbourne, Geelong. Of course, got St Kilda and West Coast, Port Richmond, and and obviously, Dockers and Carlton up there. Um, Collingwood and GWS is another one. Now, people are going to say, oh, you, you just pick Apple Collingwood there because you bag for them. In hindsight, guys, Collingwood and GWS have played in a couple classic games. 2018, I think we won by 10 points in the semi-final. Round 2, early in 2018, they beat us by um, 16 points. Stevie J used to play for them, I think it's 2016. Or maybe in 2017 when they beat us by 3 points. And 2020, last year, they beat us by a couple points as well. It just shows you that doesn't matter where these teams are playing. There's been like one blowout. And I know that we've won by 30 points by coming from behind to win it. And certainly pinching a win. So I can actually see us really winning this game. And, and in a way, maybe GWS as well, um, unfortunately. Um, the 2019 prelim was, an, was one of the ones that was real tight. Four points. Could have gone either way, so... I think with that as well, playing against them this year, they've had the wood of us the past couple games, um, but 2018 was r really our last win against them. But I think for a premiership points, it would have been about 2017 or something ridiculous. I think it was the, the Travis... No, 2016 or something. The, the Travis Clark glove as well um which that was a, an interesting um topic with that as well so i can really see us really winning this game um my foot hits i would i said about 40 points but sometimes you just don't know um which collingwood's gonna rock up and which one's gonna outperform um a lot of people that i see as well um, having a, that type of game where we can play our best footy. So it does make it a little bit more difficult because, you know, GWS has got a lot of injuries and unfortunately they'll be without some of their senior players as well. Um, they're 0-3 as well, so they want to try and make a statement. They, they do want to play finals. I don't think that's going to be possible. I I knew that this was going to happen. Um, for some reason, like, it, even Melbourne Geelong game, like, Geelong have won two tight games. Now, if you to tell them, if I did this video from, like, round one to about, you know, until now, I would have said Geelong and Hawthorne would be up there as one of the games of the seasons because what you do get... Which Long and Hawthorne, they, they've had like that rivalry after the 20, um, 2008 Grand Final. And they've had like so many close games. There's been a, like a few blowouts, including that. But they've always had that like r really close game. And it's been like a, a lot of respect that's there. So I, I think it's, you know, you always look for the best games like... Even if um if Anzac Day, uh, you know I say Essen Collingwood's up there with with Richmond Melbourne, like I really do. Like it's one of the big games of the season. Um, 
doesn't matter where these where teams are on the ladder. You, you're always expecting a good performance. So I think in the end, it's not too bad for that. Um, but I, I've had a good look with the fixture. Like even Brisbane Collingwood, remember like a couple games in 2002, like they were really close games, like one all in that. And to have that rivalry with Brisbane and now playing on Thursday nights, like a day before Easter as well. So you can sort of see like how close like these games can get as much as possible. And I'm always going to go by like their history as well. So that's how that's how it's like sort, sort of works and how I'm going to do videos like this. It's going to be okay how they play. Like I would have had put on West, uh, West Coast support because they play like classic games as well. Um, yeah, kick after the sirens. Is, is part of that um, but you always got to respect the opposition no matter what so i hope you guys do like the video let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you want to see more of these videos i do apologize it's just been absolutely flat out busy like always recapping the games and i always go by like how much i think they'll win but you know it's, it's a very tough competition um like comment and subscribe tell your family tell your friends say your neighbors other pies um stay safe everyone okay i'll see you back with another video as well be doing my tips uh, not tips i'll be doing my previews for the vflw aflw and of course um the men's team in the afl um that's on saturday night as well so we just don't know what we'll expect but until next time, calm the pies, I'm out.